Hey, mamas. I was about to go to bed, like, an hour ago. I was ready for my slumber, ready to get some real shut-eye, get my beauty sleep, because Lord knows I need it. But I have had this thing bothering me for, like, days on end, but it's, like, hit a crescendo, like, tonight, and I just need to, like, rant about it and talk about it. And maybe some of y'all feel the same about how I feel. Maybe y'all completely disagree. I don't care. It's a free country. <laughs> um... I want to talk about algo speak. What did I just say? What is that word that literally sounds like it's completely made up? Let's talk about it. You know when people say unalive? You know when people say corn instead of p orn? You know when people say segs instead of the thing that every person came to this planet from? It drives me crazy. It's unnecessary. And it's bleeding into the real world. It's called algo speak because it's something that people used to say to skirt around community guidelines on TikTok, on social media platforms, so they wouldn't get censored or banned. Um, and now motherfuckers are just saying it in real life. Like it's, like it's a normal part of the dictionary, and I, I'm going to rant about this, and I'm going to be so heated, but we're going to get into that right after this quick break. <laughs> I have been off my game when it comes to being hydrated and drinking water. I was like one of those people being like, just drink water, baby girl. And then I just like stopped. And I literally felt like freaking Randall from Monsters, Inc. Like just shriveled up and like dry and scaly. Um, but thankfully, I found a good way to stay hydrated. It is called Liquid IV, okay? Liquid IV is a category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. You pop it into some water, and you got a delicious beverage that is keeping you hydrated, okay? It actually tastes really good. Like, sometimes I'm just craving, like, a, mm, like a, a nice little treat drink, but carbonated drinks literally burn my tongue and are too spicy for me. So, Liquid IV has been great, baby. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. You got 12 delicious flavors um, to keep your hydration routine exciting. Okay, get this. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRAMA at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code DRAMA at liquidiv.com. Thank you for sponsoring this episode, and thank you for keeping me hydrated, baby. And I'll see y'all after this quick next break. Today's episode is sponsored by ZocDoc. You, you want to stay healthy so that you don't unalive? Well, have I got the thing for you. Okay, I used to always, like, avoid the doctor like the plague. I was so scared of it um, until I got the sweetest little doctor that I found through ZocDoc, okay? ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun, including the, the skin cancers that you could get if you spend too much time under the sun. Please wear sunscreen. Um, but even if you have a mole on your skin that you think needs a doctor, hopefully you got a good one, and you can get a good one with ZocDoc. So, listen here, listen here. You can go to ZocDoc.com slash mama and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash mama. ZocDoc.com slash mama. Please stay healthy. Please make sure you have a doctor. Let's continue. So, let's like define what algo speak is before we get into this. Um, this is like a fairly new term because this is a fairly new phenomenon. Um, it is basically like slang slash substitutions for words that would get you possibly shadow banned or censored online. And I'm saying those words silly because I don't believe that's a real thing that happens anymore. And we'll get into that. And Listen, like, I am, like, one of the, I, you, y'all know I've been shitting on TikTok left, right, center, up, down, north, east, south, west recently, but I, I don't think that TikTok shadow bans people. Your content is just ass. That's what it comes down to, okay? When you see a creator with, like, two million followers, they're like, the TikTok algorithm is not pushing my videos. 
with you. I'm shadow banned because I showed my nipple or something like that. Like they just aren't making good content. Like that's really what it comes down to. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. And it's not their cup of tea to hear, but that is why. But rewinding. I'll go speak. This is something that's like kind of always existed in some shape or form. Like, uh, yeah, I feel like when I was growing up, it was funny to say like heck instead of hell or like frick instead of F U C K. Um, so it's like always kind of been like a funny thing to say. And like, I obviously am not saying frick like unironically as a 23 year old man, I'm going to say the F word if I'm going to say the F word. So it's like, that kind of slang from when I grew up was, you know, it, it died when I grew up and realized, oh, I can just swear. But that's why it's so weird, this whole phenomenon of like algo speak, because you see full grown adults just typing unalive. Like they're a fucking like four year old that just discovered the word shit and they're so scared to say it out loud. So they're like, poopy, <laughs> like, so. <laughs> you know, I just kind of like roughly defined algo speak, but let me give like some examples just in case you're like, actually, what is this man talking about? People, this is like the most common one, I think, like saying unalive instead of dead because someone started a fucking rumor one day that if you say dead on TikTok, your video will get shadow banned. And you know what? Maybe that was the case at one point. Who knows? Like, TikTok truly was the Wild West from, like, 2019 to, like, 2021. They had all sorts of rules, some crazy policies. I talked about this in, like, a previous episode, how, like, literally if you were considered obese, they would just shadow ban you. If you were considered disabled, they would shadow ban you. That's very much something that was real in the past, but I don't think that is the case anymore. And there's proof of this, okay? The Washington Post made a TikTok where they literally said every single word, like not the, the censored algo speak version. They were like death, suicide, um, war, like literally like, bah, 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 bah. like every single thing that people are scared to say, the video got millions of views. It was not shadow banned. And you know what? You might like think that's a, that's, an isolated case, okay? TikTok just let that video fly so they wouldn't get flack or anything. But I've even said it in my videos. I've, I've done the whole nine yards of swearing, uh, all that. You don't get shadow banned. And listen, I understand like where a lot of creators come from. Like it's already such a cutthroat algorithm. You have to make your content so specific and it's scary, the thought of like one little thing ruining a video. Like you could spend hours and hours and hours on like a 10 minute long TikTok and then you might just say dead at the f start and then it gets shadow banned. Like that's a fear and I, I understand that. But it's like the reason I have a problem with this whole algo speak thing is because it is bleeding into the real world, okay? I was in a social situation recently talking to like a 25 year old woman and she literally said unalive instead of dead multiple times like we were talking about like some actor celebrity and she was like oh isn't he unalive <laughs> yes he's dead yes he died he died D -d 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 died D -d 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 died <laughs> oh my god and it's like you know, if this was just a phenomenon that was, like, isolated to, like, little kids that were, like, scared mommy would take their iPad away if they said shit, fuck, or, like, dick on, like, th the internet, I'd be like, okay. Like, let's let him have it. But this is bleeding into, A, real-world conversations, and B, like, adults are saying this, and C, there's, <laughs> there's no algorithm in real life. Believe it or not, you can say whatever you want to say and you are not going to get arrested or shadow like that. That's not even physically possible. No one is going to like put a blanket over your head and take you into a panel van for you to never be seen again. If you say dead instead of unalive, there is quite literally no use for it in real life. And it's not like it's a fun thing or a funny thing, you know, like with some slang like frick instead of fuck. It's kind of like funny. It's like, ah, frick. Like, you can say it ironically, but even if you say it unironically, it's still kind of funny. 
there's nothing, there's no comedic value to like saying unalive instead of dead. And I get that might not be the case for some, like corn instead of porn is like, there's a little bit of creativity with that. And it's like, haha, corn. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn. Have y'all seen that TikTok of that family that sings and they're just like sitting on the steps of their house, like having like a riff off, just singing? It's corn. I saw it on an airplane and I was seriously considering just like finding the like airlock and just opening it and jumping out. It was so let's reel it back in real quick and let's break down some of them. So like I said, there's unalive. This can mean if someone's dead, but this has also been used for, you know, if someone says someone unalived themselves, they're saying someone killed themselves. Um, here's like where I'm kind of torn because on one hand, I can see people saying unalive instead of say suicide or something like that, because you know, like trigger warnings like can be very important, but so I think in that case, like using this algo speak can be good because it's not just being used to like stop your video from getting censored. It's also like kind of like a courtesy for people who like might not want to be bombarded with a TikTok about that. But on the other hand, like, if it's literally just talking about something that's dead, and it's not even, like, remotely, it doesn't have to be used in cases like murder or, like, really dark things like that. It could literally be, like, my pet squirrel unalived or is it, my pet squirrel is unalive. Like, are you... F Like, it's, like, stupid uses like that. And you know what? Even if it's, even if you're talking about a human that is dead, look, we all die. You, you think when you, when you reach age 90 or probably age, like, 23 at the rate of the brain capacity of the motherfuckers using algo speak. But, like, you think when you die, people are going to be like, oh, he's not alive. No! They're going to say you're dead. You think you can walk into a funeral home and be like, Grandma Patricia. Oh, she was a sweet woman. It's a shame she's unalive. N they're not even going to give you a tombstone. You're going to have to take Patricia, put her in the back of your fucking SUV, and bury her at sea. You're going to have to put, like, rocks and bricks in her pockets and put her in her, like, Sunday's best dress for church and sink her down to the bottom of the fucking ocean with the fish. Like... <laughs> Next, moving on, corn instead of porn. Like... That's, like, maybe one of the only ones that'll, like, maybe in the back of my mind have the slightest, like, giggle. I'm like, okay, that was a little clever. Because that's funny. And you know what? This is also probably one of the most, like, likely things to get your a video shadow banned, if anything. As you know, like, nudity, that kind of stuff is a no-no on social media. You can't exactly just log on to Instagram.com and put a titty on a story. Like, that's not gonna fly. So, this one, like, kind of makes sense. It's nowhere near, like how futile I think saying unalive can be. I think saying corn, like you can't just say porn on social media. Ooh, me saying that right now. We'll see what happens. This video will probably get demonetized, but that's because I like literally said four swear words in the span of two seconds. So that'll do it. Next uh, is like, I'm sure you've seen this a lot. Um, this isn't like as widespread, but I, it should be noted. When people want you to click a link in their bio. They never just say link in bio. They never just type it out. Proper punctuation. Capital L I N K I N B I O period. Never the case. It is always like some fucking monstrosity of characters to like remotely resemble the word link in bio. Like they'd be like one I N K space the in emoji and then like a germ for like biology. It's so <laughs> it's so like over the top. And listen, this is a thing that I don't think happens anymore, but it very much used to be the case where if you like promoted stuff on TikTok that was like taking people off the app, they would not want your video to pop off, obviously, because they want people to stay on the app. So if you're getting people to go to watch like a 10 minute YouTube video, it's not looking good for you. And this was something I got away with for a while. Like I attribute the growth of my main YouTube channel a lot to being able to get away with this. Cause like I, I would just like say it in videos and I think this was before TikTok had any system like really 
like get a transcript of a video and like figure out where you were talking about. But I'd like end a TikTok and say like, oh, YouTube video, link in bio type situation. And I never got dinged until I started getting dinged. So like, and by dinged, I mean like the videos wouldn't perform as well if I said that. So I don't know, like, I don't, maybe, maybe they shadow ban that. But moving on, moving on, moving on. If you say segs instead of sex. <laughs> ah! Like, listen, sex is a word that can be like used for so many different things too. Like it can literally just mean your gender. It doesn't have to mean like, ah! like that kind of situation. So I'm going to get into this like, in a little bit, but how fucking dumb are you that you think social media platforms don't know what you're saying? <laughs> we have AI programs that can like literally do surgery on someone's brain if they were given like an iPad with like a cord installed. Like you think that TikTok doesn't know your dumbass is saying sex because you spelt it segs? We're going to enter that right after this quick break, yo. So, I am going to a very big and a very exciting music festival, uh, like, in a week from now. And last time I went, I nearly filled my entire lungs with dirt and had no water. And I felt like a desert rat, if those exist. But this year I'm prepared, okay? Because I'm bringing my liquid IV. I have a stockpile of, like, five bags of liquid IV. What is liquid IV? It is a delicious, um, basically hydration booster that you just add to your water. Uh, it contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. A, B, C, one, two, three, baby. Um, it's got three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, and it's made with premium ingredients. And you just add it to 16 ounces of water, and it hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Plus water sometimes tastes like farts. Let's be real. What are they putting in there? But when you add delicious liquid IV, it's good. I promise. Um, you can grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRAMA at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code DRAMA at liquidiv.com. Stay hydrated, especially if you're going outside basically have you ever had sex but don't know if you are healthy enough okay that's a terrible example but also make sure if you don't have any little crawlies and crunchies crawling around in your body and you can do that by having a doctor you can get checked you can get everything checked doesn't need to just be that that you need to get checked but you can get a doctor through ZocDoc, believe it or not, to, you know, check you out in, in a doctor way, not in any other way. Um, ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. You can go to ZocDoc.com slash mama and download the ZocDoc app for free then find a book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash mama. Let's stay healthy because I need you to stay alive and not unalive. Let's continue. Okay. This goes for every single algo speak term that I've said. They're all futile. They are all completely pointless because say there's, you know, a word that TikTok, theoretically, a word that TikTok doesn't want you to say. Say it's boob, you know, boob is, is a no-no. You cannot be saying that. So people start saying B00B. People start saying gloob. People start saying nip-nip. It would take two seconds for the TikTok algorithm to think, oh, they're still saying boob. They're still relating to, like, boobs. And people really think, oh, you know what? I evaded the fucking police because I said sex instead of sex. Oh! 
I think like this whole, okay. One of my biggest pet peeves are like, I just hate gullibility. I don't know what it comes from. I myself used to be the most gullible person. So maybe it's like a deep rooted insecurity of mine. And I hate seeing other people fall for it, but I hate when people just become sheep and like, will fall for any kind of rumor or like thing, any kind of rumor that is spread and I've never seen a rumor spread so widely as this algo speak thing, okay? You see like entire brands, entire companies. Oh, fruit fly. I should have eaten it. I've had no protein today. Um, celebrities, your freaking parents are all getting in on this. They're all saying unalive instead of dead. And it's almost like we've like lost the ability to think for ourselves. And, like, it literally just takes one person to say, like, TikTok is suppressing my videos. To have everyone think that there is this, like, all-knowing, that TikTok is this evil robot that just has it out for some people. It, it's not. You, you, you just suck. You're just, like, not a fun or captivating person. Like, I'm so sorry. That's what it comes down to. You're not shadow banned. You you just don't make good videos. So, anyways, um, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> um, I just think like you know, because a lot of these algo speak things, you, you, there's the one hand where it's like maybe a topic you're talking about is something that could like possibly violate, like actually violate community guidelines. So you think you're skirting around by saying like a funny word that alludes to a darker topic that being like spread to like anything that's negative you use like a word for like it could be like i have a fungus on my toe and people are like so i have fungies don't let the algorithm know like that blows my mind because like, we're just, like, beginning to, like, erase, like, or just, like, dancing and tiptoeing around the thought of ever talking about anything negative. And that, like, scares me because we're, like, literally censoring ourselves. Because it's, like, if TikTok, like, say TikTok, like, is shadow banning people for saying certain things, for bringing up certain topics like suicide, war, shit like that, like... That would be one thing, but to take that fear and let it apply to literally anything that we talk about online that's slightly negative or controversial, we're literally just censoring ourselves. So it's so it's a sub it's a scary slope because you know, and that's one hand, you know, you have that existing on the internet, but then to get to the point where we are literally communicating in person and being scared to say like dead or unalive, literally fucking what? And I think this is, uh, I really sound like a boom, boomer when I'm like complaining about this. I'm like, what are the kids saying nowadays? But fuck it, I don't care. Like there was a whole kind of wave on Twitter. I mean, this kind of caught on to like TikTok comments. I like see it here and there, but it's like, oh, what are they called? Like when people type like slash SRS as in serious, slash gen as in genuine. I understand, listen, like, I understand the internet is a scary place. Sometimes it is not easy to tell what someone actually means by what they say online because it is text. You can't tell someone's tone of voice. It is hard to figure out sarcasm. I understand. And beyond that, I understand that some people really, like, maybe because of, like, just the way they are like they really like actually cannot understand sarcasm and stuff like fine understandable but like to to have the expectation and i mean this isn't like uh, this really isn't a problem because no one's like being the fucking like tone tag police and like making sure people are like taggy like no one's forcing this on anyone so it's like literally not an issue I'm not trying to like create outrage out of nowhere, but like, I just think it's so goofy and so silly when people like, 
<laughs> I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but like when people like will have every tweet be like slash serious slash Jen slash joking. It's like, just let it be open for interpretation. Just let people say whatever shit online. And then, you know, if you can't tell, go in the comments, reply, be like, are you kidding? Are you joking? That That's never a bad thing. It's never a bad thing to ask a question. But like to have every th- single thing that we say, just be like, completely sterilized of any nuance and you have to write down in the actual tweet what you exactly mean that's not how the bitches that invented english wanted us to be speaking english like with like freaking code and tags to like nail down exactly like obviously it leaves out confusion less people are confused but that's not funny you can't have funny funny joke if you have to end it by like hack slash joking Guys, I was joking. Like, sometimes the fun is in people, like, not understanding that something is a a joke. You know, playing with people's gullibility. There's a lot of humor to be had with that. And I think we kind of lose that with, what are they called? Uh, I don't know. Um, But I feel like, like that whole situation is kind of like a cousin or a twin of, you know, algo speak. It's like changing our language so much to the point where like we're like literally talking in like code words like we're like freaking agents in the cia it it's crazy and i want to be super clear like um this is not like going to like anything with pronouns like i have always said and i always will say like whatever pronouns you want like valid like that is not like where I'm going with this. I'm literally just saying like, <laughs> like, I, and I'm not like a stickler for English. I'm not like the English language is the most important. Well, it probably is the most important thing we've done, like just language in general. But I'm not like we must preserve the English language. We cannot have any slang or anything like that. But the, the thing is, this isn't slang. I'll go speak. Is, isn't slang. It's silly little shortcuts made to appease a fear that doesn't even fucking exist. And it's like not out of fun or enjoyment. It's like literally just driven by fear. So that is like why I have such a problem with it because like you can't just like, you know, and so like sometimes I'll see a TikTok or like a video online of someone being like so serious, like talking about something so, so serious. And then they're like, but they unalived. And the second they say that, it just like takes me out of it. And I'm like, (sighs) (sighs) like, and it sucks because like, I think there's a lot of like really important conversations to be had, to be had where like you would need to say unalive or like suicide. I mean, sorry, you wouldn't need to say unalive. You would like need to say the word suicide, something like that. And it almost, like, to me, takes away the credibility by not just saying what something is. Like, just saying unalive. Like, I think, obviously, we don't want to, like, just bombard people with, like, triggering content. But I think it's important to, like, like, you could just say trigger warning suicide and then get into it and start talking about whatever the topic is about suicide. Like, to just... Okay, I'm going in circles with that. But overall... It's, like, the internet is not out to get your asses. You don't need to, like, act like you're walking on a fucking tightrope. And if you say a word that should be said as, like, corn or segs instead, if you think, like, by doing that, you're going to get pushed off that tightrope and, like, fall 30 meters to your death, it's not what's going to happen. Just just go for it. If your video doesn't get views, it's probably because you didn't make a good video. It happens to everyone. It happens to me. It happened. Charlie D'Amelio. I'm sure she's dealt with. Like, let's just talk like humans. Idea. Concept, even. What if we just, like, talk like how actual humans speak? Might be lit. It might be cool. Um. Anyways. Before we wrap things up, let's read some drama. Da, 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 drama time. Okay, that's not gonna be like a thing I do. I just felt like doing it. Um, okay, this comes from Straya. 
I have these friends who I fear. Oh, before we get into the drama, um, if you wanna, if you want me to read your drama on uh, episode, comment it down below, pretty please. Um, but please keep it short, like three sentences, uh, and I'll read it on a future episode. Okay, here we go. I have these friends who I feel like don't like me. They start arguments a lot where it's three v one, and I can't ever give my side of the argument without being brought down. I love them because I have fun memories with them, but they always find ways to bring up a fight. When all I do is live. I don't want to leave them, but they give me stress. What do I do? This is like so hard because some friend groups, when it becomes like four people or even three, there can be such like a gang mentality where like, you know, people just like gang up on one person. I've been in friend groups like this and I was part of the people like ganging up. And like, I would think, like, literally, why am I doing... Like, why do I feel so compelled to, like, gang up on this person? And it's, like, you know, one person could, like, crack a joke, and then the other person follows along, and then the other person follows along, all at the expense of the fourth person. And then it's, like, everyone bounces off each other. It, it's really easy to, like, feel like you're in the mi- the majority, like, making fun of the person who's in the minority. Um, hopefully not making fun of them because they're a minority. That's not what I'm saying here. But, like... Um, So I don't know, like truly sometimes friend groups can get so toxic when that kind of breaks out, when there's like these wolf packs that just go after one person. Um, And also like it sucks when you have like fun memories with them. I'd say, uh, I'd say like try and like make them aware of it. Like be like, do you guys realize like you are ganging up on me? Like y'all don't go after each other like this. It is literally just me and I'd like you to stop. I think that might be a helpful conversation, but I'm sorry you got to deal with that. But anyways, thank y'all for listening to this episode. Uh, Comment down below also how you agree or disagree with what I said. I know a lot of people use this. I know I probably stepped on a lot of toes, um, but I'm curious. And I love you, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Please write this podcast five stars on Spotify too if you want. And I'll see y'all later. All right, take care. Love you, mamas. Bye.